This is insane. NBA 2K25 cover athletes have been revealed. I know we all knew Jason Tatum was going to be on the cover, but one thing we couldn't predict was the Honey Dip King himself, Vince Carter. And for the WNBA cover, and for the WNBA cover, Aja Wilson, the best cover art to me got to be the Vince Carter one. It's just something about that gold and bronze slash. And the other two seem a bit lazy. Which cover are you guys rocking with and which one are you going to cop? 2K is dropping four different versions of the game that comes with different perks. We're going to tackle that in a different video and see which one provides the most value. But some details have surfaced, unfortunately. This is one of the paragraphs from the statement. 2K Intel posted, pay homage to the legends of the game in my career as you eclipse their milestones achievements and usher in the greatest dynasty the sports have ever seen the city on xbox series s the ultimate proving ground hit the park for some competitive street ball fun and compete at various new venues or dominate the new neighborhood on xbox one you complete quests earn rewards and eclipse your rivals in the new returning game modes let your talents shine and etch your name among the greats so pretty much this paragraph is saying that bro the city and the neighborhood is coming back for the next gen consoles we're gonna get the city unfortunately i don't want the city it's not really a problem with the city but i just feel like i just want to hoop and ball like 2k17 2k16 and like 2k15 the greatest 2ks ever and 2k20 as well like that small enclosed neighborhood with just vibes but current gen is gonna get the neighborhood again and they still making games for current gen is which is kind of crazy at this point i think everybody should just upgrade to the next console i think the next console gotta be on sale somewhere but it might be too expensive still and other bad news as well the season pass is coming back as well but hopefully they can add some more value than they normally do because some of the wars in the season pass were straight booty cheeks it was straight ice spice and Nicki minaj in the video it was just so bad so they're gonna have the pro pass it looks like here the nba 2k 25 season pro pass grants you access to earn 40 earnable premium rewards addition to the 80 earnable rewards that are part of the base season pass i'm not gonna lie this is pretty bad and then they got the hall of fame pass which is 20 dollars. if you got that money everything in the past is okay you get boosts level skips and 15,000 vc as well immediately yo they give you the 15k up front uh, that's a little okay let me know if you guys are gonna actually buy the season pass or did for 2k24 did y'all buy the season pass i did not because i didn't really see anything buying the pass bro i just grinding my way out bro i know it's something about having the wars early on in the game but that's so dumb bro it's where so and if you guys now will pre-order the game you can actually get ten dollars off the hall of fame addiction as you see right now this, this post comes from Dirt man germ um, game is 150 dollars for the hall of fame but you could save 10 percent if you copy now if you got it early so let me know if y'all copying it in the game release on september 6th that's pretty early on in the month i can't wait for it actually this news is from my my team head just like me bro i was playing my team i wasted so much money in this goddamn team and trying to build the greatest my team ever i literally waste paycheck after paycheck but so ronnie kind of had that the option house is coming back to my team hopefully it does because bro no auction house sucks bro this is for my snipers and my grinders it helps us out and get more mt rather than buying it from the source and you best believe the websites are coming back where you can buy mt again i've been on my team a lot more right now and my biggest question is the auction house is there any hint there for 2k25 we see uh what people are talking about throughout the game so you yeah know, the recipe for you know method to the madness that's a little bit early but you guys heard that that's all i can really ask now this is like out of grain of salt because we know ronnie Ronnie is a notorious liar. He be capping a lot, bro. Like, still waiting for these goddamn Yeezys. Maybe Yeezys was coming this game, but I remember Ronnie promised us Yeezy sneakers, and they have not released. But surprisingly, the Yeezy sneakers are inside GTA. And this next news might be very dangerous, but it's also freaking super good so let me tell you guys in this article they asked will pc version have nba 2k25 be upgraded to the next gen version of the title we've been waiting forever for this i play 2k on pc it's a lot of hackers and modders but nba 2k25 on pc will be next gen 
which means that all associated modes and features excluding crossplay will be available on play on PC Viva Steam. This includes Pro Play, My Career, My Team, Play Now, and for the first time on PC, the God City and NBA errors and the dub. And this is such huge news because we know PC never ever got next gen. So as next gen came to consoles, PC was stuck in the dust. We were stuck in the old gen when PC was capable of running next gen at an elite graphic level. And I can't wait for this. It is gonna be a lot of hackers and modders, but they probably gonna curse down on this. But you know, they always come through like balling hoops again. I'm just saying little names. I'm not endorsing these guys. I'm not telling you to cheat in the game. But yo, this is huge, bro. Oh man. And then I already know like city on PC is gonna look beautiful. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, guys. Make sure you hit the sub button. It's your boy Imagine a Dot. It's never about the points, it's only about a dot and nothing else. Peace.